Hi, welcome to today's Facebook Live. My name is Eddie, one of the reptile keepers here at the zoo. Um, today we are in the Texas Wetlands exhibit talking to you about American alligators. We have two American alligators in the exhibit, male and female. The male is right below us right now. His name is Pop. He's seven and a half years old and weighs about 180 pounds. The other one in the exhibit is a female. Her name is Snap. She's six and a half years old and weighs about 130 pounds. Um, these alligators aren't full grown yet. Male gators can reach up to 15 feet, but are usually around 10 to 12 feet, weighing several hundred pounds. They've been recorded up to 500 pounds. Um, today we're gonna be feeding them. Chris is going to work on target training for the female on the bank over there and I'll be feeding the male from the dock area and then after we can answer any questions. Um, this will probably be one of the last feedings of the year for the alligators. They go into a state of hibernation kind of like bears do which is called brumation in reptiles. So usually depending on temperature last from around October to around February or March and then we will start feeding them again. Usual, usual diet here at the zoo for the alligators is uh, rats, chicken, fish. Today they're going to get a crocodilian pellet which has all the minerals and vitamins that they need. You want to start feeding them? Chris. <laughs> <laughs> so she should come back up to the bank over there and see if I can get the male's attention. <laughs> Sometimes feeding multiple animals in exhibits a little difficult. There we go. So Chris is trying to get her to follow the blue target. The female is usually really good on following the target. Oh, she is not having it today. There we go. Alligators here at the zoo usually get fed about once a week. Either pellets, rats, or chicken. Ah, get over here. usually follow, follows a red target pole. There we go. Casey is asking, what are you feeding them? This is a uh, crocodilian alligator biscuit. I don't know if you want to get a close-up of what one of them looks like. So it's got all the vitamins and nutrients that they need. You could solely feed them this as a food source. Liz is asking, how big can they get? Most male gators are around 10 to 12 feet. They've been recorded up to 15 feet, weighing around four or 500 pounds. Females are a little bit smaller, so females will get eight to 10 feet as a big female, around 200, 250 pounds. Anna, how old are they? The male you're looking at right there is uh, seven and a half years old, and the female that Chris has over there in the beach area is six and a half years old. So we've only had these guys about, I think it's been a year and a half now when Texas wetlands opened up last summer. So they're fairly new to the zoo. So we've been working on training them this last summer to keep them separated. There we go. Uh, 
American alligators range from North Carolina down to Texas, across Louisiana, Mississippi, and into Florida. I'm sure somebody will ask pretty soon, but everybody wants to know how long they can hold their breath. Um, here at the zoo, we've seen them underwater for at least 30 minutes sometimes. Usually they can hold their breath for about an hour during the, during the summertime. During the wintertime, it's been recorded that they can hold their breath up to 24 hours. They do need to come up every so often to take a breath. During that brumation period, their heart rate slows down. So, they're, so does their respiration, so they don't need to come up to the surface as often. During the summertime, if you want to see the alligators feeding, usually a Wednesday or a Thursday afternoon is usually the best time to see them. Like I said, this is probably the last feeding that they will have for this year, and then we'll start it back up end of February, early March, depending on weather. Are they endangered? American alligators used to be. They've uh, recovered in the wild here in uh, Texas, they are protected. There was a big recovery effort on them and they've come back very strong. One of the, one of the closest places besides the zoo to see alligators is Brazos Bend State Park. There's a uh, nice lake out there that you can hike around and usually always see alligators out there. Demetra is asking how many we have at the zoo. We only have two alligators at the zoo, a male and female. The only other crocodilian we have is a dwarf crocodile in the reptile building. I'm sure somebody's going to ask about our last alligator that we had, the white one, Blanco. Blanco is now down, he took him out of the reptile building and he's now at a place called Crocodile Encounters. So if you miss Blanco, you can still go down there and see him. He's got a nice big exhibit all to himself. During the summertime, after breeding season, which is usually in the spring, the female will lay on exhibit here, um, usually 20 to 40 eggs that she will lay. Come over here. 20 to 40 eggs. It usually takes about 65 days for the eggs to hatch out. Lombard kids, how many teeth do they have? Wow, that's a good question. I've never gotten close enough to count them. I will have to look that up and get back to you on that one. I want to say it was somewhere around 60. These guys are just about probably getting full. Like I said, this is one of the last feedings for the year before it turns cold, so we want to get them a really good meal in. A couple more questions. Somebody is asking, where can we see the alligators at the zoo? They are in our new Texas wetlands exhibit. 
which is right next to the Pantanal exhibit that's getting ready to open soon. guys are not really fast on land but in the water they can swim pretty quickly I think they've been recorded 15 20 miles an hour in the water on land they can uh, they got kind of short distances they can they can run but they move a lot easier in the water all right that's about it for today at the alligator exhibit Thanks for tuning in. You can join us next Wednesday at 11 a.m. for the next Facebook Live.